Hello there, I'm back, welcome everyone, <laughs> today is the first day of the seasons with temperatures below zero. It's a clear blue sky and uh, I have an idea for a photo I want to capture. Long time since, since my last video, hope you don't mind it too much, rather I hope that you do, but that you forgive me and that you're excited for new content to come. Well, I found a place from where I want to frame the composition. The sun is now starting to shine on the composition. I'm gonna put on a polarizer, but I think I'm gonna have to wait uh, for the sun to get a little bit higher just so that we can get rid of um, a little bit of the haze that is laying behind the composition. I would much rather have a blue sky behind it rather than uh, what is the color now? More gray, pinkish. Uh, not a nice pink, more towards a gray. So a bluer color would um, put the image more into the mood that I want it to be which is a clear autumn day with nice color in the landscape. <laughs> First, let's put on the polarizer. And I'm photographing on 300 millimeters. So it's going to be quite sensitive for vibrations, which is why it's good to use a remote. Now, the thing that I haven't really decided upon yet is whether or not I'm gonna make a pano or a single shot. The virtues of a panorama is getting more of, um, of the fall color and getting more of a complete scene. And the virtue of a single shot is uh, simplicity. Uh, I often find that panoramas, well, they are panoramas. They are wide and they can easily include a little bit too much and lack a clear focal point within the image. It's more of a this is to see and look upon whatever you want kind of image. And I want to avoid that. I want to have a clear place for the eyes to fall in the beginning uh, and after that it can wander. So that is something to think about. Well, the easiest thing to do is to photograph both. So photograph a panorama and a single shot and then you can easily decide in post where you have more time and you have a bigger screen to see where or how it's going to work in a, well, in a clearer way. So I took a test shot here and one of the first issues is getting the image sharp. Uh, and the problem is movement. Both movements, uh, well not really so much perhaps in the camera itself, but uh, more so it is a little bit windy. So on the other side the trees are moving a little bit. As you can see here, we have a lot of movement uh, in the image, but if you compare it to the camera, it's completely still. Uh, well, this is zoomed in as much as the camera can zoom in uh, as well. Um, but you, you can see that there is quite a bit of movement on the inside there. And you can see if I just touch it, we have a lot of movement. Uh, and that's the negative thing about photographing at 300 millimeter and well, really zooming into the landscape. Especially on windy days. On a calmer day it's much easier to deal with it. So as you can see I need a really fast shutter speed in order to freeze the 
action happening. So, I'm probably gonna have to rise the ISO. So ISO 400 gives me 1 90th of a second, which hopefully is good enough. Let's try. Stand still, feel the moment. Action. I think I'm gonna say that that is done. I have no idea how the image is actually gonna turn out. For the new videos going forward, I wanted to introduce a new way to convey how much I like or do not like a certain image. And therefore I thought to introduce the rating system. So I'm going to rate each of the images that I show you uh, between one and five stars with one star being poor, two stars being acceptable, three stars being good, four stars being very good, and five stars being exceptional. This way I won't have to explain every time I find an image to be subpar or excellent or whatever. Uh, if you like or dislike this system, please leave it in the comment below and if you have any ideas for improvements or anything like that, then please also leave that in a comment below. Let's continue with the video. Well, what I'm gonna do now is pack up the camera here and uh, I'm gonna go to the other side here of this peninsula and uh, see if we can find anything there. At least there will be sun there. So it will be warmer. So I did find another composition here. A little woodland scene. A couple of trees. Um, with the sunlight streaming through and well looks kind of nice. What I did was basically just wander around a little bit and try to frame up the trees in a nice way so that um, also that at least all the important trees are differentiated from each other and a few trees that I, I didn't really work try to hide them behind other, other trees and yeah, I shot it on around 100 millimeters uh, and I have to focus stack it because, yeah, still kind of close to the trees, but using a long focal length. So, not really that much depth of field uh, I'm getting out of the camera at that point and it's really a lot of depth of field in, in the scene, so focus stacking is a must in those scenarios. And uh, also had to exposure bracket the background because it's so much brighter than the rest of the scene. And I would rather have uh, a little bit of the blues shining through the trees behind them rather than white, I think. <laughs> And I think that is it for today. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to I'm going to be releasing more content going forward as I'm stabilizing into a new routine here. Uh, so hopefully a lot of great things to come. If you liked it, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll see you all soon again. Goodbye.